So now this would be probably the hardest problem you could have for a sector area um, in terms of something that would be realistically asked. So it gives me that angle. It gives me the um, diameter. And then it asks for the area of sector CED, which is right here. Now this probably looks a little odd because you've got an angle that isn't the sector and you've got different things. This is a problem that I came up with several years ago trying to come up with uh, something that really was a little more advanced and they made you do two things at once basically. So you got to think about this. What do you need to know? You need to know this arc number of degrees here. That's what you need to know. You can get that from the yellow angle if you remember that an inscribed angle is equal to half the intercepted arc. The intercepted arc is CD. All right, and then I can think about this and go, all right, well, the angle's 31, so that's one half of CD. I hate halves, so I always just double the other side, and that's going to give me 62 equals CD, and I have what I need. So it's just asking me to do that little bit of legwork before I get to the rest of the problem, which the rest of the problem is just what we normally do. So it's 62, number of degrees in the arc, over 360 equals, um, maybe I do this the right way here, 62 over 360 equals, I got to find the area, so pi times the radius, which is half of 46, 23 squared. 23 squared is 529, and then an x at the top. So I get 360x equals 62 times 529, which is 32798. Okay, and like normally, I'm just going to leave it in terms of pi until I get to the very end. And I get x equals 32. Two eighty six two one six. Let's see, nearest tenth. So round to two, using the one. So two eighty six point two is the area of that slice of the circle. 